Merry Christmas, viewers. Mr. Chita, thank you. I must say, this is one of my favorite times. Welcome to Late Night with Mikhail Shinoa. This episode, we plan to have a festive, festive, festive time. Once again, not in the studio. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. You know, it's so unusual in Nigeria to have so many ge different generations in the same room. It's really, this is amazing. So I have Papa Kikwe. Yeah. How does it feel to have you here watching your children who have put this together and your grandchildren? It's really Thank fantastic you. experience. I had been looking forward to this uh, for many years mm -hmm. and I've enjoyed coming to this uh, performance. Mm -hmm. I've always liked music in my life. Yes. I started uh, as a choir boy way back in uh, early 30s. Mm -hmm. And um, in those days, um, you are not allowed actually to um, sort of develop too much interest That's in the music. music. Mm -hmm. That led because they th thought it was so distracting mm -hmm. and uh, not something that you could marry with uh, mm -hmm. academic work yes. You know? yes so one missed out on that mm -hmm. but um, I've always had very good relationship what do you think mr. F.I. Ajumogobia would think of all of this wherever he is today mm -hmm. he will feel very proud of his children and grandchildren mm -hmm. and um, he, he loved education yes and uh, he loved Education with breadth, not just uh, just confined mm -hmm. to co academic saloon, mm -hmm. and that's why he succeeded in exposing uh, his children, mm -hmm. all of them, I mean, to a much much broader uh, based uh, mm -hmm. type of education, which included the arts. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you so much, Papa. Yeah, it's, I mean, I I know you'll agree with me that it is such an honor to be sitting here at the Ajumogobia Science Foundation Memorial yeah. Christmas Concert with Papa Akikube. <laughs> I have two amazing people here with me. I have Nimi and I have literally... Okay, so I'm going to start... I'm going to do this one, one at a time because it's such a big deal. <laughs> Nimi is Mrs. Akikube, Mrs. Nimi Akikube. I know that now you're actually running... Um, you, you, you have this Monopoly Nigeria that yeah. you're doing. I have one. I have the one for Lagos. Have you played it? I have played it. It's Good. absolutely amazing. Oh, it is so much fun playing Monopoly and we're not winning Park Lane, you know, <laughs> and winning things on, on, on in, in Mayfair. Yeah. You know, it's, it's so cool. You obviously got this DNA transferred into you from your family and then dumped it straight into your kids. All of this. Our parents introduced us to music very early on. We were How all very early? young. How early? I, I think I was three years old. Wow. That's when I played the piano. Wow. How old were you? I think I was a bit older. Yeah. I know your sister, because your, yeah. your sister, she was, she was five. She yeah, started we, playing we've been five. playing duets together since okay. we were three, three and four. That's five, remarkable. Yeah. It was just so natural with me playing the piano for our children and his children to sort of mm -hmm. take it up after us. But they've taken it to a much higher level than we've been able to. So it's very exciting. Like Papa Akikwe was saying, you know, in his time, even though he loved music, he wasn't encouraged to, you yes. know, to develop his love for music because it was everyone was scared I would interfere with, you know, schoolwork yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. Now, what you've done with your children is encourage both sides: their creative side, their musical side, as well as you know the academic side. Yeah. In fact, you've married that so 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 well, Absolutely. and and then you went into banking. So where did the music fit in? Well, you for are doing me, the for banking. Me, music has always been leisure. Mm -hmm. I just love playing music and listening to music. Mm -hmm. So it was never going to be a full-time thing for me. But okay. I did spend two years teaching piano. Yes. So, so mm -hmm. that, that, that's the only time I've done professionally. But one of my children, Kelly Nair, as you yes, know, is yes, a, a yes, it is a career. Yes. But for the rest of us, it's all leisure. Yes. Distressing. I think that's that's so for me remarkable. playing every day just mm -hmm. sort of distresses. So it's taken the, the next generation to take it to, to the, take to it to the, the next, next level. level. Absolutely. To take to the next yeah. level. And 
I mean, obviously, the music can't help you win more Monopoly games. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It helps calm you down. <laughs> calm you down. Helps relax you. Mm -hmm. Helps help to distress mm -hmm. you. Yeah. So, once a minister, always a minister. <laughs> I'm, 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 I have to address him as Honourable Minister <laughs> Sir. That's how to address former you know, ministers. Well, well, when, when, they, when they call me uh, Honourable Minister, I say as he, as he then was. As he then was. <laughs> okay, so, minister, you know, so former Minister of Petroleum, former Minister of Foreign Affairs. Of foreign affairs. Yeah. Yes, because you did us so proud. You've been playing the piano since you were probably about eight or nine since we're eight or nine yes. it obviously didn't interfere with schoolwork because you went on became ministers minister of petroleum you took the latin exam well <laughs> <laughs> that's that's another story uh-huh uh-huh <laughs> So I asked, I asked, I asked Papa, how Papa Kikube, how did he feel? Your, how did, what did he think your dad would think of all this? Would make of all this? You know, what do you think he'd make of all this? I, I, I think he'd be, he'd be very pleased, mm -hmm. um, especially more, more with the music, of course, because mm -hmm. he loved music. But yes. I think more with the purpose yes. uh, behind this concert, which well, is which was to promote. The, the Science Foundation. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Attention, drawing attention to science teaching and science learning, which, mm -hmm. which is still deplorable in mm -hmm. our country. And, mm -hmm. um, and I think um, he'll be very proud of this, that this was one of his passions and that we are trying to um, bring awareness yes. to, to this, as, yes. as he tried to do, you know, 50, you know, 60 years ago. Through his love of music. Isn't that extraordinary? Yeah. That is beautiful. So literally, I know that they're making announcements. I know you're performing. <laughs> you're performing too. I am. Yes. Oh my am, goodness. Yes. Okay. Yes. So we have to make our ways to our, uh, our way to our seats, and we're going to enjoy this amazing, amazing performance. I told you, if you're not here, you're not in Lagos. <laughs> we're still at the Muzon at the ninth annual Ajumogobia Science Foundation Memorial Christmas Concert. And I'm here with the family, well, with some of the family, with the, like, grandkids. the grandkids, the happening generation. The cool ones. Like the cool <laughs> ones, the cool <laughs> ones, the cool ones. I didn't say that, I promise. I didn't say that. Okay, so I have Dolapo, I have Kaline, I have Akikule. Dolapo, you're performing tonight, or you're not? I'm no, no Dolapo, you're performing tonight. Performing tonight. Akikule, you're not performing. I'm not performing tonight. And Kaline, you're performing. I love your hair. Thank you. What is this like for you? It's yeah. amazing. It's gone by so quick. It's so gone by so quick. Yeah. Huh? Nine consecutive years. It's literally just rolled in yeah. into play. Like it's yeah, it's good. It's gone pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's no. got better and better as each year has gone definitely, by. Definitely, definitely. Look, I know that you all, you guys, all three of you have D and have like music in your DNA. Mm -hmm. Literally, right. both sides of your family have music in their DNA. So yeah. they, there was no escaping it. <laughs> Kaline. Mm -hmm. You literally, you're literally earning a living from music right now. I am, finally. I yeah. know, isn't that wonderful? Amazing. It's, it's so cool. I'm so, 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 so proud of you. The like, well, what have you been up to? I'm still in university. Uh -huh. Still working. I'm studying classics and There's music. So classics my and music. music. Yeah. Ah, and what do you want to do later? Maybe something law related, maybe musical law. Musical copyright law, law intellectual Copy property. Don't we so yeah. need that? Don't we so need Absolutely. that in Nigeria? Mm -hmm. I mean, copyright law, yeah. yes. Now, I can connect. Oh, for me, yes. Mm -hmm. I have music in my jeans as well. Yes. You know, I know the spotlight is on these two. Uh -huh. I started first. I'll have you. Because you're, you're, you're actually one of the organizers of this evening. Um, mm -hmm. Well, I've. You know, I have tried to, you know, to be here behind the scenes to just sort out, uh -huh. you know, all the stuff that's going on, uh -huh. etc. I still can't play the piano. <laughs> I started be before these two. Um, and then I had a brief stint in music production while I was at university. Uh -huh. And, you know, this music is something that's part of my life, so it will always be yeah. part of me. So I try to get involved with the concert and perform where I can. Mm -hmm. um, performed last year, sang, mm -hmm. didn't go very well. Please don't show it to anyone. <laughs> um, but, but aside from that, um, you know, every opportunity I get to, you know, just play the piano, you know, have a jam session with friends, it always, always um, works out. Yeah. Mm, Kaline, what would you say is your proudest moment? Uh, what has been your proudest moment, really, about um, with the Ajumogobia Foundation's, you know, um, the, with, a, with, a, with a concert? Um, 
proudest moment has to be getting up to the ninth year, to be honest. Wow. Um, I know. Because it's, it's gone, we started out um, really small, so to speak, like in a smaller hall, mm -hmm. um, with, you know, less performers performing and less guest artists. And now it's a lot bigger, it's a lot grander. It um, is grand. Look at that outfit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my goodness, they left out the sequence from this. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and we've had to, like, you know, take on a lot more um, responsibility and mm -hmm. hire more people to sort mm -hmm. of help with the coordination because mm -hmm. we're not, you know, involved in event planning by uh -huh. any means. So yes, yes. we're just the musicians. But I know the whole family get involved in this. Yes. Mm. So viewers out there who want to get involved because it is a foundation and this really is about raising funds Absolutely. for the foundation. How can they do how can they help? How can they how can they be in touch with you? Um I think we have a, we have a Facebook page mm -hmm. um, which has all the videos and stuff. I guess sharing the videos. <laughs>
Sing with me. 
Enjoy all of that. It is I did. wonderful, isn't it? Yes, uh, this yes. is our first Christmas with the viewers. I'm looking forward to spending next week with you, which is New Year's, by the way. Uh, we look forward to <laughs>